Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot Tarot. To do a quick read, and if this resonates, um, please hit like and um, feel free to share it. Hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you know when I upload again. So your re relationships and the people you've dealt with for the last couple years, um, I would say, see if these, these words resonate with you. Um, unreliable... Uh, yeah, unreliable. I can't even talk. Mercury is still retrograde and it's stationing actually it's stationing right now. And I think it goes direct tonight or tomorrow morning. This is a Sunday morning. Um, unreliable, um, unpredictable, maybe chaotic, unstable, maybe crazy. I don't know. But over the last two years, you've watched as your relationship started off. I think um, it's there was a point maybe a couple of years ago where things felt new and exciting and this feeling of freedom depending on your age and I don't know who you are I don't know your you know your gender your age where you live any of that stuff but some of the older folks Scorpios um you may have if you were in a relationship maybe it felt stale maybe you were single and, and life felt boring and then you decided to um just you were drawn to people who were more independent and different and Maybe a lot older, a lot younger. I mean, I, I'm guessing if it was like, you know, independent and um, free-spirited, then maybe you were drawn to somebody who was a lot younger. But I think now you're at a point where the shine has wore off of that, hasn't it? <laughs> you're kind of tired of that shit. So you, you feel like you don't know what to expect. You don't know when you're going to see them, how, what kind of mood they're going to be in, and how things are going to go. And you like things to be a more, little more reliable, loyal. You want to feel like there's some kind of loyalty there. Um, the good news is while this, in a way, is going to continue for the next two years, it's not going to continue the same way because you're now at a point where you, you see where things are and what you do and don't want. And, and you've had enough. So... We're going to get to this in a second, <laughs> but you've had enough and, and now you want something that's more reliable. So over the next two years, you're going to watch as your choices and your relationships, whether you stay with, the, if there's somebody you, you're with or you're you know split from right now, whether or not that person is going to be with you a couple years from now is going to depend on growth. Now, if you have been in one of those run or chaser kind of things, and run or chaser things are usually um, because of people who have abandonment and trust issues. Like, for example, if you or your partner um, came from a broken home, let's say that one of your parents, let's say your parents divorced or one of your parents left when you were young, um, that may have made a mark on you, even though you may not realize it right now, that would have made a mark on you and you would not maybe not even realize it but you're you're going to carry that into your relationships that that fear of abandonment it's going to go and you know it's going to cause problems in relationships it's going to cause you to maybe be afraid that they're going to dump you or they're going to abandon you so you might want to get the jump on them so you might run or um you may be drawn to people who <laughs> do that to you who abandon you who leave you so I don't know, that may not be your situation. That could be somebody, you know, someone else's situation. But if that is, the runner chaser basically is um, possibly two people drawn to each other who have abandonment issues. The one wants to get the jump on things, so they panic when things get serious. They're afraid the other person's going to leave them, so they run away. Which triggers the other person's abandonment issues of like, oh God, you know, here I am left again, you know. My mom left when I was a kid, and I didn't have, it was just left with my dad. Or my dad left when I was a kid, and I was just left with my mom. And so they may have grown up, the person left behind may have grown up always wondering when they're going to see that other parent again. So if you or your partner has abandonment or trust issues, that could be causing the problems, any problems you have in your relationships right now. And that could be something that you unconsciously are drawn to, drawn to other people who have that same thing. And maybe that's the thing that brings you together, but it's also the thing that busts you up, right? So there's that. But you're not at a point where you see and you know you don't want that instability anymore. You want something that's real and you want something that's lasting and honest and true and quality. 
this. So let's let's take a, take a look at this because what you're going to have over the next two years, you're going to see yourself becoming in a relationship, whether you realize or not, you're going to be in a relationship a couple of years from now, whether it's the one you've been dealing with or somebody completely different. And it's going to be the kind of relationship in which everybody wants, the kind of relationship that people envy. They're going to envy what you have a couple of years from now. Trust me on this. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to shuffle and we'll look at the bottom of the deck first to get an idea. I already saw. Okay, well, there we go. Well, that was quick. Um, so this is the Three of Swords. Take a look at it. It's the Heartbreak card. That's the, what they call the Heartbreak card. So you may... I'm just going to set it off to the side because... This, I guess, is what your reading is all about, is maybe you feel like you've had your heart broken. Maybe you're in separation from someone, or you're fighting with someone. Um, maybe they left you for somebody else. I don't know. But, or maybe you've been in a, you know, a third-party thing, you know. Maybe your partner is dealing with you and somebody else, or you are dealing with them and somebody else, or both of you are dealing with two people. I don't know. So let's take a look. Um, okay, so this is what you want. The Knight of Cups is... Um, true love whether you're male or female you know and no matter who the person is that you're looking for but see this this is like true honest love being offered so let's see we're going to do three cards for representing the, the recent hit past six of swords wanting a victory and getting a lot of attention being in the spotlight um 10 the wheel okay so and then the hangman feeling stuck I can hear my dogs. I, I let them outside on the porch so they wouldn't bark their little asses up. Every time I start to record, they start barking. So, so I let them outside and now they're scratching at the door. <laughs> and they can continue because we're going to do this. Um, so the Six of Swords, the Wheel, and the Hangman. So I would, I, even though it's not the Two of Wands, I feel like you are at a crossroads. Even though the Two of Wands is not, this is a recent past. Um, wanting a victory oh you know what no it's the six of swords is moving on to calmer waters <laughs> I, okay so this is a new deck for me and i've i've been tempted to get it this this light sears deck and i keep passing up because i never really felt drawn to it like i didn't feel like i could relate to it so i would pass it up jesus <laughs> something just fell in front of me um and so i wouldn't get it but I kept being drawn to pick it up every time I go to this one place, you know, this coffee book, you know, coffee shop, bookshop place. So finally, yesterday I said, fuck it. I just went ahead and got it. And I'm actually, I am resonating with it. But um, so that's why I was looking at this thinking, in my head I'm thinking Six of Wands. And I'm looking at it and it clearly looks like the moving on to calmer waters. You know, this is the recent past. You just wanted to move on to calmer waters, um, start a new chapter. Because um, you've been feeling stuck just hanging and you you feel like you've been left hanging and you're trying to see things from a different perspective. I know this is the same thing that you hear every reader say, but it's, you know what each one it is. It's the hangman. This is, that's what we're describing here, right? That's the hangman. So that's the recent past. And now, yeah, so it's, there's been conflict. You want your ultimate happiness. You want your wish fulfillment, and you want things to be right. You want things to be just because you're tired of the fighting. You've been, look at this. This is this is stress right here. You just, you've been stressed because there's been fighting and arguing. Probably arguing. There's probably a bit of big argument, but I don't see the tower card. But so in the future, what are we looking for? <laughs> I said that. I said that, and here we go. The tower card. So in the future, you want a big change. You want things to, to change. And look, that's nice, actually. But in order to have that big change, you're going to have to walk away from something that's not fulfilling. You're going to have to walk away from something in the future because cause in the future, this is what you have coming to you. This is the, uh, the Ten of Pentacles is like, you know, money, like all the money and resources and, and like living the life of luxury, having it all. Look at this. This card just says having it all, doesn't it? So in order for you to, to really have it all, you're going to have to let go of something that's not fulfilling. Now, I'm not saying that the person that you've been dealing with isn't the person you're going to end up with. 
there's a good chance. It's a, you got, it's a 50, 50 on this, but one thing is for certain it's been causing it's right now. It's, it's when you think of it, it causes you stress, doesn't it? And you want to be happy. You want happiness. Um, you want things to, to be right. So, I mean, I, your money, by the way, I made notes for you all. I didn't want to forget. By the way, every time I do a reading for Scorpio, okay, every time I roll a die at the end of a read and it comes up Scorpio, every single time I look at it and go, oh, Scorpio, in my mind, I think I really got to put my all into this. You know, I really got to put my back into it. And I never really understood. I could not get for the life of me. I couldn't understand why. So this last time when I sat down to prepare for this, if you've, I don't know if, if any of my subscribers have noticed, but it's been like three, four days since I've done a reading. I was determined to figure out what in the fuck is going on in your life. So this is what's been going on. This heartbreak. Because I think there's somebody here that you really, you do love. You love them. But this shit ain't working. <laughs> it's just not working. Now, if you're meant to be with them, then you will be. There's no point in agonizing over it because the universe is going to give you what what you're, it's going to give you. What it was meant for you is going to be for you, whether it's this person or somebody else. But you're going to have, two years from now, you're going to be able to look back and go, okay, I see what was going on there. And yet, like for those of you who are older, you know, you might have been really drawn to that freedom and independence and newness and you know unpredictability and excitement but that <laughs> that shine is wore off now hasn't it yeah you're not really enjoying that so there for a lot of people a lot of people um the planet of communication uh, yeah see the planet of communication <laughs> has been retrograde as you can tell none of the readers can speak worth a shit these last, these last couple of weeks we're all stumbling over our words but um the plan of communication has been retrograde since the 18th. In fact, um, on the 18th, if you had a big blow up or 17th, 18th, 19th, if you had a big blow up with your person, don't be surprised. Um, it's been causing, I don't want to say stress, but it's been causing upheaval in a lot of relationships. But a lot of relationships needed that shake up to really suss out what's worth it and what isn't. And I got news for you. There's another one, like your, your relationships and what you want are going through big tests. And there's another big test coming December and January. So if you really are meant to be with this person, then your relationship will survive this and it'll survive December. It'll survive, you know, it'll survive January. Um, two years from now, I'm guessing a couple years from now, you're going to see, you're going to see what I'm talking about. You'll look back and you'll be like, oh yeah, I get it now. I get it. So, I don't know, we're 13 minutes. I, I didn't want to like go on some big long, you know, rant, but I, I get what's going on. You, things have been unstable and unreliable, unpredictable. The people you've drawn to you may be chaotic, crazy even, maybe not crazy, but just like super independent or unique. You know, they walk to the beat of their own drum. And that's not bad, but you want to know they have your back. You want to know that you can depend on them and you want to know that they're going to be there for you and with you and that they're loyal and they're going to be by your side and that things aren't crazy and unpredictable. So, um, who are we reading for next? <laughs> I went on, where the hell is, oh, there it is. Um, so I went on this big rant and I didn't mean to, but okay. And I would love it to be cancer because cancer hasn't had a read in, forever you know I'm a cancer I would like a read so Scorpio um you're it's okay to walk away from things that are not fulfilling if they are meant to be in your life they will come back or they will will be in your life but you got to do what's best for you and your sanity because that stressful shit isn't working so in the, the future the tower moment big change and walking away to have what makes you happy? Fucking A. <laughs> it's Taurus. It's Taurus. I'm Taurus rising and Venus and Taurus, but damn it, man. When is Cancer going to get a read? So we're reading for Taurus again. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Scorpio, I don't know if this resonated at all. If it has, um, feel free to hit like. Oh, I didn't even do these. These are the Donna's Destiny cards. And these half the time negate 
the reading. I don't know why, but I think they just like to stir up shit, really. Um, what did I want to tell you? Oh, and you've probably recently been in the spotlight at work or, you know, whatever you do for a living, you know, you've probably been in the spotlight recently. Um, I think I covered everything else. The So towards the end of this week, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, expect your relationships to be forefront again. Um, there's going to be some power struggles. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of power struggle going on with, you know, people. Probably some fights. <laughs> so don't even be surprised. So six cards, Donna's Destiny. We're reading for Taurus next. So let's see here. We have Stop Being Stubborn. Dump them. Well, there's that eight of cups. Um, time for a new start with them or somebody else. But success and career. That's what I see. That's what I'm saying. Success and career. They have a wandering eye. Well, maybe a person has a wandering eye. I don't know. Lots of options coming your way. So it's all good. So I do like this light seer deck. I'm actually kind of glad that I um. What was on the bottom of the deck? Redecorate your living space. Okay, that's cool. Redecorate your living space. Maybe it's kind of stale and boring, or you know, maybe it. Also has lost its shine. I don't know. Uh, pray more. All right. So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope this in some way, shape, or form has read it. It's read the bed. Yeah, I can't wait till Mercury is direct. I swear to God. Um, hopefully this has resonated in some way. <laughs> if so, feel free to hit, you know, like and share, subscribe, and tell a friend. Uh, love you guys, and I will see you in the next time.